Hi guys, Craig here and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Renogy Rover. Now the Rover is a 20 amp solar charge controller with MPPT tracking. That's the unit there. It comes in that box. User manual there. Pretty easy to set up. Just follow the instructions in the user manual. I'm not going to go completely into that. But you've got temperature probe here which is supplied. I'm not going to worry about it. You've got your solar input, your battery, and it's all even got a little load output there. The RS-485 here on the side goes to a Bluetooth module, which doesn't come with the Renergy by default. You've got to order that separately. And I kind of like the Bluetooth module, and I'll go in a little bit more detail about that in a minute. Um, I've connected a solar panel onto the unit. There it is out, outside, so that, that's set up and running. Now, if you're just looking at the main screen here, you'll see that there's an arrow po pointing and moving forward, indicating that the solar panel is charging the battery. You can go into this, change your parameters, or you can also do it on the Renergy Home app if you've got the Bluetooth adapter fitted. Now, just by scrolling through the manual, you can see I've got 59.9 volts on the solar panel. Just under 18 amps going into the battery. It's saying that the battery is 100%. Forget that, I haven't set any of that up. And we're up to 13.8 volts now, and then you can go back out here. Now, the basic specs on this unit, as you can see there, rated battery input 10 to 32 volts dc so it's a 12 or 24 volt battery charger when i say battery charger i mean solar charger obviously uh, maximum charge current 20 amps maximum solar uh, input voltage is 100 volts and maximum solar input power is 260 watt at 12 volt or 520 watt at 24 volt now, I couldn't find anything in the manual when I looked whether you can actually put more solar than 260 watts and it will just throttle the solar. Most solar charge controllers, you can over watt, but you can't over volt. So just bear that in mind. If somebody knows me, if you can put more than 260 watt into this thing, I'd like to know. Uh, I'm assuming you can. Okay, so just coming back over here and having a look at the app, I hope you can see that okay. So you can see again, 60 volts, four amps, and that's four amps at 60 volts. So don't get confused by that. Your watts, we've got 258 watts. So we're just about on the limit there. Um, and then you've got energy produced, uh, battery charge watts, we're getting 247 in, uh, volts, etc. And then you've got temperatures and bits and pieces. You can also go into the little three dots up the top there and you can go into your settings and you can modify the settings per your battery type so i've set this for the renergy pro light and i've set it to charge to 14.2 and float at um, 13.5 so no issues with any of that so i've had this on now for a little while it seems to be producing no problem at all um, that's it going via the Renergy shunt, showing 228 watts or 16.8 amps going through the battery. And over here, we're showing 17.6 amps at solar. So don't forget that the difference between the 16.8 and the 17.6 will be DC loads on the system. So the inverter's on at the moment. Um, I've got another battery shunt sitting there that all takes power so that's the net difference between the two units so far so good um i don't actually mind it comes with two little mounting plates here so you can mount it a couple of different ways so you've got uh tabs there that you can put it on um the thing i would say about the unit i find it a little bit bulky for the size but only being 20 amps um little cover here so then you can do your terminals to, to mount everything it all seems to be working fine guys look i'm going to make this a short video there's not much to really tell so the rover 20 mppt 
think there's too many P's in there then. Charge controller. Um, all works fine. I did base test the solar charge controller against another brand name one to see whether the output was the same. And it is. So there's no issues with that. It produces what the panels can put out. And the variation between this solar charge controller and another one was like one or two watts. So in my mind, that's completely acceptable. Um, for me, guys, it's a pass. I mean, it works. Sure, it's a little bit bulky, as I said, for the um, the size of the unit. Um, but other than that, no problems. So I hope you like that one. Real quick video there showing the Rover in action, but no problems at all. Like and subscribe, and stay tuned for the next one. Thanks, guys.